Hey guys, and welcome back. <laughs> yes, I know barcode scanner. We'll, we'll talk here in a second. Hi guys, welcome to the studio. And today we're going to be un basically simulating unboxing the barcode scanner. This is our Motorola MT2070 2070 Bluetooth barcode scanner. And I'm going to show you a couple of quick things to get it going as quickly as possible with as little headache as possible. So the big components that we're looking for, obviously the gun and the battery. And the battery will probably be in a little baggie, so uh, I'll, you can go ahead and put it in there, but don't don't leave it in the gun if you're not going to hook it up to power just yet, because this gun is always looking for its base station, so it's always using power. There's a little bit of juice in there, but we don't want to discharge the battery unnecessarily. So if you're going to store it, leave the battery out. So got the gun set up here. You'll unbox the cradle. The cradle will also have three wires you'll have a gray cord that looks like this and i'll hold this up to the camera there's a usb connection on one end and a fat phone jack there it is there's the fat phone jack or the cat 5 connection now <laughs> here's something that happens from time to time people will get this cable and will try to plug it into the bottom of the gun it will fit but it's not supposed to go there so don't plug it into the gun pro tip all right, so once we get the gun, everything unpackaged, everything is laid out, you're going to take the, the, uh, fat, bleh, the fat wire that goes into the outlet, has obvious plug, has another plug like this, goes into the transformer box, make sure it's in there good and, good and secure. I actually had a call today that the, uh, the customer didn't plug it up as tightly in there as possible and the gun never charged and... Uh, we had to delay getting a scanner installed by a day or two because uh, we're, the, the gun wasn't charged sufficiently. So what you, all you have to do is take the other end here, plug it in over here on the left-hand side, and then put the gun into the cradle. Hold on to the gray wire, and you're going, here's why. If you plug this up prematurely before you install the drivers on the computer, Windows will sometimes call it a keyboard. And most of the time, it's not a big deal to convince Windows it's not a keyboard. But on t there are occasions where Windows can be a little hard to deal with sometimes. So hold off on plugging this into the computer until you get all of the drivers installed. And you can do that simply by contacting either Joe Castro or myself. The number is 1-800-864-6561. So let's fast forward a little bit. Joe and I have already connected this, the software into the computer, got the drivers installed, and then we're going to ask you to ins install the gray cable. All you have to do is take the Cat5 connection and plug it in here. And this is technically not a Cat5, it's, it's a custom cable. If you run a regular Cat5 cable to this box, the wiring's a little different, so it doesn't necessarily work. The other end goes into the computer. Like that. Then after everything is, all the software has been installed, what we'll have you do is put it into any kind of mode. Repair orders is fine. And we're going to scan the little white label. It takes it just a second. Makes that little happy chirp. Now the gun and cradle are talking to each other. We'll also download or send you a piece of, so a piece of paper that says a CDC barcode. And we'll scan that real quick. And then that will tell the scanner how to behave with the computer. Usually this setup takes about 15 to 20 minutes to get everything going as long as we have admin rights to install software. I hope this helps. Uh, guys, I do appreciate your time and watching this video. If you need anything, like I said earlier, the number is 1-800-864-6561. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Be safe, guys. Bye.